how to do a factory reset on an iPhone 12, iPhone 12 mini, iPhone 12 Pro, and 12 Pro Max. Um, that's what I'm demonstrating, showing you guys. And what this factory reset does is it clears all the information off of your iPhone. So if you're looking to sell your iPhone, give it away, anything like that, this would be the way it, um, that I would recommend doing it. This would be the simplest and easiest way. So as you guys can see, I have uh, a customized background or a lock screen set on my device. Um, I have changed the back or the wallpaper as well, so all that is different. Um, this in, this will clear all your information. It'll remove. It's just like a reset for your device, a restart pretty much. It'll take it back to the the factory startup window um, with the hello screen. So it'll remove all the contacts, photos, videos, any kind of information that you have on here, any kind of data. Um, it will not remove. So let's say if I uh, do a hard reset it will not or this factory reset it will not clear it won't delete any apps off of my iCloud account so if you back up your information clear the phone and if you were to restore it it will still bring back all the apps that you have that you paid for and things like that so what this will do is just it'll clear everything so the way to do it go about it we will start off by going into our settings uh, and settings will look like this uh, go down till we find general from general we'll scroll all the way down to the bottom and hit reset from reset, we're going to go ahead and um, there's a reset all settings, erase all content and settings, uh, reset network settings, and then reset keyboard, reset home screen layout, everything like that. Um, the, set, the one we're looking for is the erase all content and settings. And then from here, it's, gonna, it's asking us, uh, this will erase all media and data and reset all settings. So any setting that you have set up, it will reset it back to the factory setting. Go ahead and select erase iPhone. And it says, are you sure you want to continue? All media, data, and settings will be erased. This cannot be undone. So uh, if you have the option to back up all your information, I strongly recommend it. Saving your contacts, saving any kind of photos, videos, anything that you want uh, saved from your device, go ahead and back it up. And then go and do this reset uh, after. So I'm going to go ahead and select erase iPhone. And now it's going to go through and remove all the information that is on there. It's going to wipe everything. And it'll take a minute. Um, and then it will then start to upload the, I guess, the latest version of the operating system of iOS that's available. Um, and then it will load up to the home screen. So this process might take a minute. Uh, it might you know, take a little while. So don't get too discouraged if it's taken a little bit longer than um, you had anticipated for. Uh, it is deleting everything, removing everything, and it takes a little bit to um, get everything uploaded back into uh, the original settings. And on this device, I was not signed into an iCloud account. So iCloud, it will not ask me to remove my iCloud in these steps. If you are signed in with an iCloud account, it will ask you to uh, type in the password on the iCloud account just to kind of let it do this process. Um, it, will, it might also ask you as you are starting up the device, um, going through the startup wizard at the beginning of the hello uh, screen. Just like that, this one didn't take long. There was not much information on there. We are on the hello screen and it's just pretty much um, going through the regular um, startup screen. Um, this is just the Wi-Fi portion. Type in the Wi-Fi password. Once it's connected, it should go through. And then it's going to take a little, um, it says take, may, it may take a few minutes uh, to activate your iPhone. If you have a SIM card, it will uh, activate it and get it back up on the cellular plan. If you don't have a SIM card, it might take a second attempt to notice that it is not fully set up. So mine took a little while to realize it wasn't set, um, it wasn't active, so it just kind of continued on with just, I'm just going to skip through all this stuff and get it to the home screen just to show you guys that there is, um, that just resets and clears everything off of your, um, off your device. And here it gives you the option to restore from, you know, backed up from a iCloud account, from a Mac or a PC, from a different iPhone. Uh, move data from an Android. So if you got a new phone and you're trying to switch information over, this is the screen to do that. I'm gonna, not going to transfer anything. And then set up later in settings. I'm just kind of hopping through all this stuff just so I can get to that. Um, get to that home screen. So welcome to iPhone, swipe to get started. As you guys can see, all that information is back to 
uh, default. I had a customized photo over here. Now that is gone. Different looks like a different color layout of the wallpaper and the lock screen. So there you guys have it. That's just my quick tutorial video of how to reset your device, reset your iPhone 12 um, and any iPhone 12 type phones, any iPhones. Um, this resets it back to factory settings, re deletes all the information on there. It does not take it back to its original operating system. It updates it to the newer one. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're resetting everything and make sure once again to back everything up. That way you're not losing any uh, important information. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you guys did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you guys would like, if anybody's looking for this information, please do share it with them. Thank you guys all for watching. Have a nice day.